Sydney receives over 10 million visitors each year for its beaches and attractions. However, Sydney is more than just the Opera House, Harbour Bridge and beaches. So come follow me while I explore this beautiful city. Okay, first things first, I just had to fulfill my lifelong dream of being one of those people who wave through the window on Channel 7's Sunrise Edition. And now I can tick it off my bucket list. Hey girl, hey! Next, I did one of the most touristy things you could ever do. I climbed the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It took three and a half hours. That's 1,332 steps, and that's around 501 calories for those tracking. She take my money when I'm in Spotted at Grounds of Alexandria, Gary from MasterChef. Oh yeah, we totally just had eye contact. How you doing? This British lady starts with me and she's like, my god, it's winter, darling. It's winter, darling. <laughs> Spring. <laughs> <laughs> We then went to check out the rocks. Back then it was where convicts arrived and sailors and prostitutes gathered. But today, the renovations transformed the area into a commercial and tourist attraction. Hey, Bob, I have a question for you. What? Are you meant to chew on the Sega balls or swallow them? Chew on them. 
Oh yeah, I'm, I'm chewing on them now. <laughs> The Sydney fish market is the largest market of its kind in the southern hemisphere and the world's third largest fish market. I had no idea crustaceans could get so big and expensive. Sea cucumber anyone? Bondi Beach. I want to get on TV, so I told Michael to do it for the team and like pretend that he's like drowning, so you can like rescue him. It's so gonna be on TV. But that's the little thing that they're always in. I don't think we're gonna swim though, because it's it's not hot, but it's not it's cold too. And if you're here on the weekend, most Saturdays they hold fireworks. Just because it's the weekend. And I just had to check out Cabramatta. It has the largest Vietnamese community in Australia. There were Vietnamese people everywhere. They were even selling produce on the streets. Is that cool to do? Hello. What is going on? I think Patty's better. Huh? I 
And finally, I just had to try the famous watermelon cake from the Black Star Pastry. It was located in a cute little bookstore. Look at them layers. I saw this cute little mice trying to make money. And that was a dollar fifty. Tough times. Sydney had a lot of people and it seemed like they were always on the go. But one thing I love about this city was that you can still feel a sense of when the first fleet arrived back in 1788 and the history is definitely still present today. I had the most amazing time. Thanks Sydney and hopefully I'll be back again soon.